Peace and love, strength and honor. Samir Saif, Ontario top team. Pow! So uh, you learn a lot of transitions in locks and holds, you know, and it's this kind of stuff with your hands. And in real life, if I wasn't concentrating or prepared and I was locking something and suddenly pulled it, that's what would happen. So I have to start to understand when hands are being pulled that I have transitional movements to control him, okay? But even when I think I have a lock, you know, I might not. So I've seen that move done. I'm just gonna do a couple different angles. Up the V-lock, you know, where you have this control. Uh, but I don't think I ever see it explained when the guy's twisting his hand towards himself that you can't lose contact. And this might be a better way for you guys to get the guy on the ground. So now I've got good control. He's, he can tell you I have pressure with my knees. Oh yeah, he's not going anywhere. I can do my search, check, ask him questions, talk to him, put on that godforsaken lock, get him reset in the lock. Oh, with pressure, he's got a really deep hammer lock going on right now. It's probably a lot of pressure and pain. And then let him get up. And it's done. So I'm going to show you how to practice that transition, or I'm going to get Nord to, to practice. So I'll just show it once, and then I'll get Nord to do it. So just with your partner, you start in that straighten out your attitude, and then let your partner naturally, he would just he'd pull his hand, and I want to learn to just not lose contact, and then come back out, and then go back in. And the trick to that transition is when someone's pulling their hands, I want you to think like you're fighting. So if he pulled his hand, he probably want to do what to my face? Elbow. He probably want to punch me, hit me. So I just think of covering up. So when I'm here, I don't go, because I would get smashed. You see, I always stay really close. I hide behind him, and I use my elbow. So I use my elbow to his face, to his chest. I have a wrist lock on, and I have two points of contact, three points of contact. And control, you see how I rotate him with that shoulder? That was the knee from the other takedown I showed you. I rotate him and I say, down, 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 down. On your belly, on your belly, and I straighten out his attitude. And then I disengage and I have that kind of leverage and pressure to keep him down. So he's got regular wrist lock, you know, straighten out my attitude. Here, I want to pull my hand. And he learns just to lock it. And then my muscle back out and goes right back to that. So this is training you resistance. I'm going to pull my hand. And then always, there's always a bright guy in the crowd. He says, what about his free hand? What about his free hand? He's applying it. This is where he'd be. So you can do the step over. Right? Or, when I landed, you put me back in that lock. Here, we'll just stand up again. Good. So when you go into the V-lock, as I land, you should be straightening out my attitude and shoving the arm behind my back. So as I get, you should be here. No, that's how I'm gonna do it. When I get to this position, see I'm rotating. This is sexy, man. This is beautiful. Look at I got, oh, I got the lock on. I shove it in behind. I can yank on it. I can hold him down. I have lots of choices. I can lock it out. I can pull it back on. I can put pressure. I can get him standing up. You know, there's, there's tons that you can do from there. So what you're practicing is transition of resistance. Try to do a holder lock, he uses those big biceps, and I go back to what I taught you. I'm trying to put this lock on, and he yanks it in. So you're just learning to move with hands that are live and resisting. And that's probably the most important thing you can learn when you're working with locks and holds. People resist. And, and if you're not, if you're always like, 
you will get smashed in the face. I want to save you from getting smashed in the face. Peace and love, strength and honor. Samir Saif, Ontario Top Team. Pow!